Hi, I'm Brian Mahoney and welcome to Easy English Best Way to Learn Java Arrays Part 1. An array is a name list of data items that all have the same type. Java arrays are data structures containing objects of the same type. A string array can only contain strings and a number array can only contain number objects. Arrays are used to store objects that you want to use in other calculations or want to reference to. Arrays in Java are actual objects that can be passed around and treated just like other objects. Arrays are a way to store a list of items. Each element of the array holds an individual item and you can place items into and remove items from those slots as you need to. Arrays can contain any type of value based on types or objects, but you can't store different types in a single array. You can have an array of integers or an array of strings or an array uh, of arrays, but you can't have an array that contains, for example, both strings and integers. We just covered several different definitions of arrays to help you understand arrays because they're very important in the Java language. And this is the first of uh, several parts that we're going to do on understanding and programming arrays. So let's begin. First, to create an array in Java, uh, you use uh, three steps. Uh, first is, declare, is to declare a variable to hold the array, create a new array object, and assign it to the array variable. So we're doing that right here with this line and this particular array set is going to be a double. Uh, so uh, um, uh, later on we'll do different types of arrays. Uh, uh, like we said, whatever type you choose, everything has to be the same. So we store them in, the, in this array. Uh, so you have uh, the first, uh, uh, since we've given it a value of three slots in this array, it goes 0, 1, and 2. Now, arrays always start with 0, so just get used to it. That's the way the language is. So the first slot is not 1, it's always 0. So the first value in the array, or the first array, is 0, 1, and 2. And what we've done is we've given each slot in the array a value. So 0 is equal to 5.2. Uh, the value placed in the uh, second holder, uh, uh, 1, is 10.4, and the value placed in the third holder, which is the variable money uh, 2, uh, has a value of 20.8. So we're simply going to do a system print out to show the, the values that's been stored in these variables that's an array. So we'll, uh, we've already compiled it. Now let's run the program. And you see it prints out 5.2, 10.4, uh, and 20.8. So that's a very simple array program. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and go ahead on to our next variable or our next video in arrays. I'm Brian Mahoney and make it a great day.